Close Republicans on Thursday muscled a $4 trillion budget through the Senate in a major step forward for President Donald Trump's ambitious promise of massive tax cuts and reform. The 5,149 vote sets the stage for the tax reform debate. October 20 – APT Republican majority in the Senate approved a budget plan for 2018, clearing a key hurdle in their quest to pass a massive tax overhaul. Approved 5,149 on Thursday night, Kentucky Republican Sen. Rand Paul joined Democrats in opposing it. The budget differs significantly from one passed by the House on October 5, especially in the amount the national debt can be raised by tax cuts. Each chamber must pass identical measures for them to have any effect. But even then, the budget's real impact is not on how much the government will spend or borrow, is how much it will tax because the measure included language that would prevent a tax bill from being filibustered by Democrats later this year or next year. But many more battles lie ahead, here's a look where we are in the arcane process, and what comes next. What the budget does the biggest thing, which senators from both parties emphasized this week, is the passage of reconciliation instructions that tell the Senate Finance Committee that a tax bill cannot be filibustered if it adds $1.5 trillion or less to the deficit. The budget passed late last night, 51 to 49. We got zero Democrat votes with only Rand Paul he will vote for tax cuts voting against Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump October 20, 2017. This now allows for the passage of large-scale tax cuts and reform, which will be the biggest in the history of our country. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump October 20, 2017 filibusters require 60 votes to break, which means Democrats could derail the tax bill even though they are in the minority. A bill brought up under reconciliation requires only 51 votes to pass, and Republicans hold 52 seats plus, they have Vice President Pence to break a 5,050 tie. The budget also includes reconciliation language that the Energy Committee could use to ease restrictions on oil drilling in the Arctic, so a bill that is brought up to do that also may not be filibustered. Over the next 10 years, the budget calls for $473 billion in cuts for Medicare and $1 trillion from Medicaid. They are part of $5 trillion in cuts mentioned overall, but most are not specified. The budget resolution also sets broad spending levels for federal departments, which the appropriations committees are supposed to use to write more detailed specific spending bills for the 2018 fiscal year. What the budget does not do it is not a law, so the budget cannot actually cut or raise spending or taxes. And this year, it is widely assumed the spending levels for the fiscal year, which actually began October 1st, will not really be used by appropriators. That point was emphasized by Sen. John McCain, the Arizona Republican who chairs the Armed Services Committee. He was a potential holdout on the budget resolution because he believed spending levels for the Pentagon were set too low, but he agreed to vote for it because of the tax language. Even as we support this resolution as a means to achieve meaningful tax reform, we must acknowledge the fact that the underlying budget contains an insufficient level of funding for national defense, McCain said. Sen. John McCain, Rares, returns to his office after votes at the Capitol on October 19, 2017, photo J. Scott Applewhite, apather than the reconciliation instructions for the Finance Committee, the budget does not include any of the tax proposals spelled out in September. Nevertheless, Republican senators pointed to tax relief for working families and corporations as a reason to support the bill, while Democrats said tax cuts for the rich and damage to Medicare and Medicaid were reasons to oppose it. Because the bill was not binding, Republicans argued Democratic attempts to amend the budget to put in restrictions were premature. Over the course of two days, the Republican majority voted almost on block against amendments that included a requirement that no one making $250,000 or less would face a tax increase, to prevent tax cuts from increasing the deficit, to require a score on a tax bill's impact from the Congressional Budget Office before a vote could be taken, and to prevent cuts to Medicare or Medicaid. What happens now? The budget approved by the House on October 5 said tax cuts had to be offset with tax increases or spending cuts and could not add to the deficit. The Senate measure would allow debt to increase by $1.5 trillion. The House measure also required $200 billion in deficit reduction be found later through reconciliation, while the Senate measure only included a token $1 billion reconciliation cut. Either the House must pass the Senate's version, or both chambers must appoint a conference committee to develop a compromise that would have to be approved again in each chamber. Going to conference could add a week or two to the time it would take for a tax bill to actually be introduced. But the Senate tried to accelerate the timeline on Thursday night by adding language sought by House leaders, the leader of the ultra-conservative House Freedom Caucus, North Carolina Rep. 
Mark Meadows, said on Fox News on Friday afternoon that members on a phone call Friday indicated they were willing to support the Senate budget if it would speed up the process. Once the budget is finished, work on a tax bill would begin in the House Ways and Means Committee. Republicans whose states heavily use a deduction for state and local taxes that is slated to be eliminated have been pressing leaders to protect that break, and if they are denied and oppose the bill, it may not pass. Sen. Bob Corker, R10, speaks to reporters while heading to vote on budget amendments on October 19, 2017. Photo Jacqueline Martin, app Republican senators such as Tennessee's Bob Corker have also voiced concerns about the potential debt impact of the tax cuts. Also, the fiscal year began October 1st. The government is operating on a temporary extension of last year's budget that runs through mid December, so both chambers have to agree on spending levels to prevent a shutdown. Spending bills can be filibustered. Read or share this story http suset.ly to Edkip.